Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the HK MP5. Now, some of you will know this as the Harley Davidson Nonconformist. Uh, recently, Benchmade decided, I, I'm not exactly sure what happened with Harley, but uh, they've kind of gone their separate ways. And so, Benchmade basically took all of the good Harley designs and put them in the HK model. And this is one of those very snappy little automatic HK design. And it's called the MP5. This is the Tonto style. It also comes in a drop point as well. I'm just going to do a quick little overview. I had this one sitting out and I figured, you know what, let me just show the people while I'm here. So we'll go over the specs on it. And uh, I also have a Boker Kalashnikov sitting here because uh, it was also out for my purposes. So we'll just compare the two really quickly and you can kind of get an idea of what you're getting in the H&K versus the Boker Kalashnikov. So let's get to it. We'll go over the specs and then uh, we'll take a look at it versus the tactical clothespin, that sort of thing like we do. So first of all, it is an auto. You can see that uh, button is not recessed at all. So I mean, if you were to put it on the table and push it with the safety off, it's definitely going to go off on you. It's got a little bit of texture there. So if you are wearing gloves, you're going to be able to get that just fine. And that's that's a great thing. When you're wearing gloves, this is going to work very well as far as hitting that button goes. Um, so opens like that. Push the button to close it. The safety is right there. The handle on it is uh, T6 aluminum. I do very much enjoy the milling on it. Very cool texture. And it's also very grippy. That's one thing that I, I noticed is just the ergos on it are great. And it's grippy in the hand. You can see there's a little bit of jimping there, kind of a thumb ramp. And then this uh, back spacer, I'm not sure, I think it's made out of steel. I'm looking, but I don't have that. I wish I had a magnet right here, I'd, I'd check it for you. But that's also gonna serve as a glass breaker, kind of a pommel there on the end. And that's got jimping on it as well. A little bit of jimping right there in that index groove and a little bit more on the handle. While we're here, let's talk about the pocket clip. The pocket clip is a tip-up carry only, two-way reversible. And here's a shot of it in my pocket for you to give you an idea. The overall length on this knife is eight and a half inches, made from 154 cm stainless. And the blade length is 3.4 inches on the Tonto version. Like I said, there's a drop point version. I don't happen to have that on me currently. Got that cool tactical black finish on it. As far as a, an auto goes, I, I've handled a lot of autos. We sell a lot of autos, so I see a lot of them. This one is very snappy. Some kind of pop out as if they were just a little slow. This one just, you can actually, let me show you that that recoil watch down in here the recoil once it hits it's coming out it's solid solid and you can put that safety on to lock it in place as well let me show you the uh, blade play on it i think that's important to recognize front to back very very little side to side uh, Pretty, pretty darn solid. Both ways is pretty darn solid. There is just a little front to back. Let me lock that and see if there's a difference. A little bit of a difference. Yeah, I would say that's more solid. So just for your information, but I mean, when I say there's a little bit of blade play, I'm talking barely, barely noticeable. Barely noticeable at all. Solid lockup on this knife. Uh, what else do you want to know? Let's look at it in comparison to a tactical clothespin, just so that you can kind of get a size reference. Tactical clothespin should be going up on Blade HQ's site sooner than later. We've had a lot of demand for that, strangely enough. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, this knife with the calipers. Get real specific for you. I know some guys just love specifics. Blade thickness, eighth of an inch, 0.1256 right in there. The handle thickness, and that's one thing I noticed, this handle is fairly thick, so it's going to be good for gloves on, 0.6 inches. 
You can see that lanyard hole right there. Thought I'd mention that. What else? Um, should we look at blade centering real quick? Spot on. Yep, very nice. Let me show you the uh, grind angle really quickly. That Tonto, definitely vicious. Looks like a guillotine. I was just noticing that, just pretty intense. All right, I've got my uh, very official blade grind measurement tool. This one's sitting right at 15 degrees on the blade grind. So there you have that. Let me show it to you with gloves on. Now, obviously automatic knives are restricted in a lot of areas. So I suspect most people who buy this are probably military, uh, LEO, that sort of thing. So you probably wear gloves, a lot of you who would buy this knife. So check it out in the hand with gloves. Nice, easy to get to that button with the gloves on. And these gloves are actually a little bit big for me. You can see that thumb is, but even then, not even a problem to hit that button. Curious about the safety as well. Yeah, that's that safety is nice because it's got that jimping on it and it's uh, not recessed into the handle. You can see that it, it sticks up. So with gloves on, this is gonna be easy to uh, deploy as well as to close. Just push that button, lock your safety up. I'm impressed. I, I wasn't thinking it was gonna be that, uh, that easy with gloves, but it is very nice. All right, so this knife runs in the $150 range currently on bladehq.com. So it's not a cheap knife by any means, but it is made by Benchmade, meaning that it's got Benchmade's warranty on it, made in the USA. The weight on it is 3.9 ounces, and uh, the Rockwell hardness is 58 to 61 Rockwell hardness. Uh, what else do you wanna know? Oh, so what I was gonna mention, 154 CM, very good steel. Um, well, I... I Everything's relative with steel. You guys know that. It's kind of a middle of the road steel, um, but it works great. We've we've done some field tests on 154 cm, and it works just fine. I uh, actually carry a, a uh, Benchmade <coughs> Mini Grip Tillion in 154 cm, and so far it's done really well. The edge retention is uh, decent. I have I need to sharpen mine at this point, but uh, it's worked really really well. Right out of the box, it was super sharp. Talking about the Grip Tillion. Um, but very impressed with the 154 CM. So it's not hair popping sharp anymore. It was when it came, but it is still very, very sharp. Love that little griptilian. Anyway, so this has the same 154 CM with the coating on it. And, uh, that's going to, I mean, it, it's a better steel. It's uh, kind of middle of the road, but for everything that I do, it works great, which is, yeah, what you need it to do. It's yeah. 58 to 61 Rockwell hardness is not a bad spot to be at all. So a couple other things that you want to know, feel free to pipe in in the comments if you're watching on YouTube regarding blade steels. It's, I feel like blade steels are such a, they're, they're one of those topics that there's so much to know about and I know so little, but uh, I'm learning. That's what I'm learning. So, so check this out. Boker Kalashnikov, this is a, a basically $45 or $40 automatic made in Asia, made in Taiwan. And what's the difference? You know, they're both automatics. Um, you can see even just now, pushing that button is not as easy as with this uh, with this MP5. That button is just right there. You don't have to fight it at all. Anyway, you kind of get an idea of this knife. It is a nice knife. H and K does great work. Benchmade does great work. Um, honestly, like. I see a lot of knives. I'm not in the military. Obviously, I make YouTube videos for a living. But um, if I were, I would trust my life to a Benchmade. I, I truly would. Um, so if you are taking a look at this knife on our website and you're debating it for law enforcement, military, whatever, I'd recommend it. Nice little knife. It's going to do a good job for what you need it for. So the place to buy it, as with all fine cutlery and knives, is bladehq.com. Buy it now.